In this video, we're going to look at a related rate problem involving rotational motion. And this is out of the James Stewart Calculus book, 6th edition, I believe. So it says, a lighthouse is located on a small island three kilometers away from the nearest point P on a straight shoreline, and its light makes four revolutions per minute. How fast is the beam of light moving along the shoreline when it is one kilometer from P? So I'm going to draw my shoreline. And we're told that this lighthouse is three kilometers away from the shore, and in particular, this point P, which is straight to the shoreline from the lighthouse. Okay, and um, so the lighthouse is rotating, and you can imagine its beam of light kind of um, uh, tracing a line along the shoreline. So here's here's just a representative beam of light there. Now that's that uh, beam of light is moving because the lighthouse is rotating, which which means, and if you read the, the the problem too, it means that this distance here is varying in this triangle. A lot of these problems involving related rates really amount to, um, you know, extracting the word problem and just and translating it into the geometric shapes that we can analyze and whose formulas we know. So, but in, in this case, you wanna you wanna understand that this distance here is changing. So I'm gonna call that x. And in fact, if you read the question, how fast is the beam of light moving along the shoreline when it is one kilometer from P? That's another way of saying um, when x is equal to 1, how fast is um, the length of x changing? So in order to answer this, we're going to first want to establish, um, establish a relationship between the variables in question. Now it turns out that I didn't label this, but that's three kilometers, right? Um, so that's not varying, the distance from the point P to the lighthouse. This angle is varying. And we're actually told information about that, that angle. That relates to the lighthouse, lighthouse making four revolutions per minute. So if the lighthouse makes four revolutions per minute, and we know that one revolution in a circle is... 360 degrees, but also 2 pi radians, which we're going to want to use because we're going to be using trigonometry and you'll always want to be in radians for that. Um, well, if it does 4 revolutions in a minute, well then it does 8 pi radians in a minute because each revolution is equal to 8 pi. So I'm going to write down that d theta dt is equal to 8 pi radians per minute. Okay, so I've just translated revolutions per minute into something that I can use. Um, okay, so I know d theta dt is 8 pi radians per minute. And now if we go to the question, how fast is the beam of light moving along the shore when it is one kilometer from p? Well, we're in, in calculus notation, we want dx dt at the instant that um, x is equal to 1. Okay, so we want to establish a relationship between the variables in the problem, and it looks like the tangent function would relate theta and x and, and that constant value. That, the constant is, you always want to use a, the constant, or often you'll want to use the constant when you're um, writing an equation because as you'll see, that'll vanish when you take derivatives because constants um, don't change. So the model we'll use is that the tangent of that angle is equal to x over 3. And maybe I will write that as 1 third x just to prep us for taking derivatives. So now we take the derivative. The derivative of tangent of theta with respect to t is secant squared theta times d theta dt. And the derivative of 1 third x is 1 third times dx dt. Okay, so notice we know d theta dt that was, that's given above, 8 pi. 
We're trying to find D, uh, dx dt, so we're not going to be plugging anything into that. How are we going to find secant squared of theta? Well, to do that, we're going to analyze the situation at the moment in question. So at, at the moment in question, we know that this is still a 3. Um, x is supposed to be 1, and that's theta. Now, we actually don't need to know what theta is. I find a lot of students, they, they try to find what theta is and then take the secant of that angle. But since we only need the secant of that angle, we just need to know all the sides of this triangle, or at least the two sides that will give us secant. So by, by the Pythagorean theorem, this hypotenuse is going to be root 10. Okay, and so now I can take the secant of that angle. The secant of that angle would be root 10 over 3, and I'm squaring it. So root 10 over 3 squared. Now d theta dt we know is 8 pi equals 1 third times dx dt. Okay, and now to solve, um, I'm just going to multiply through by 3. Let's simplify a little bit here. So um, if you multiply through by 3, you get 3 root 10 over 3 squared is 10 over 9 times 8 pi, and that's dx dt. So just punching this into the calculator or, or even doing it by hand, it's not so bad. You get um, dx dt equals 80 pi over 3, and the units there would be kilometers per minute. Now, incidentally, 80 pi, 80 pi over 3 is about, it's about 83.8 kilometers per minute.